So in the previous video, we discussed how important influence is and how it affects our lives and where we want to go, our goals and aspirations and things like that. In this video, however, we will try to understand the one of the components that makes up influence. Now, this comes from the book written by Robert Cardini, Influence, which I mentioned in the previous video. Now, the first thing or the first concept is called reciprocity. What does it mean? It's a fancy word. Um, I will explain to you what it means, but I will also explain to you uh, by a couple of examples of, you know, we'll try, we'll try to understand what it actually is and how it works in real life. Um, reciprocity is basically best, you know, understood by this example. If you buy someone coffee, um, they'll, you know, have an urge to buy you coffee next time. Uh, same goes with breakfast or dinner, whatever you like. Um, but why does it happen? Why do we have this inclination to give someone something that they've given us? Um, now, I'll give you some examples uh, in terms of you know people who use it in their in their business or things like that. But let's start with the reason why it is like that. We won't be able to go into much detail, um, but let's try to understand this way that when we were hunter gatherers back in the day, uh, let's say. A couple of thousand years ago, we used to live, you know, in small tribes of like 150 people. Um, if we didn't help each other, we wouldn't live much longer because, you know, someone else is killing the animals, someone else is cooking. Um, you know, it, it was a society where you give and take. If you don't, you wouldn't survive. The agricultural land uh, economy, as we know today, didn't really um, exist back then. Okay, so that is an, a little bit of understanding of how old this concept is. Um, uh, let me give you an ex another example. So there's a, there's a charitable organization called the Hare Krishna Society in the United States and some other Western countries. Um, now, how they fulfill their goals um, is they raise money from normal people like you and me. And how they do that is they have developed sophisticated ways in which they get money from us. Um, we're walking on the road, someone asks us for money, uh, the probability that we'll give you money, you know, give them money is not that high, depending on a lot of factors. But what they do, you land in, you know, in New York, um, in the airport, someone approaches you, uh, gives you a flower uh, or something else, like a small gift. Uh, you take the gift, you look at the gift, you're like, oh, you know, the, sometimes you don't even want to take the gift, but you feel good. You feel good someone's giving you something. You, know? you, you have a positive impression of that person, that, you know, they're good people. Um, and then after that, they ask you that, you know, you can give $2, $5, $10, whatever you can spare. And now you feel obligated to help them. So you look into your purse, you're like, oh, well, I got $10 if you want $10. Um, you, if someone else want, you know, asks you for money, you probably would say no or give them maybe one or two dollars. But why did you make the decision? Was the initial gift that was given to you one of the prime reasons why to, you, know, you took this decision? Maybe it was. Um, now let's talk about another important thing that's related to this. If someone gives you a gift, um, and then, for example, asks you for a very big favor, and you say, oh, I can't really do that. Um, then asks you for a little bit, you know, a lower favor. It's like, oh, maybe I'll do that. Some people, you know, what they do is they ask you for a grand favor, which they know that you'll never say yes to, and then they'll ask for a smaller one because you feel bad initially. And then the second time, you don't feel as bad, and you kind of go and help them. Um, you know, so basically, I think I have been able to communicate to you how, you know, often reciprocity works in our lives, from small things to big things, and um, we don't even realize how uh, important this is. The other day, I was, I was on a website, um, I wouldn't name the website, so what was happening was I was trying to buy a few things, and just when I made the account, they said, oh, because you made this account, uh, we will give you a free list. Now, the things they were giving for free weren't very valuable for me, but I still took them. And then I bought a lot of stuff. 
and then I realized what has happened. Um, the only thing, you know, before we finish the video, I uh, want to say is that you have to be very careful about uh, reciprocity of when you're using it or when other people are using it on you because you have to understand whether it could just be, you know, the nice people, they just they, they want to um, you know, treat you to something. Uh, don't, you know, um, be too much skeptical about this. Um, it is, uh, you know, a technique of influence that we use a lot. Um, influence when used for good can be of immense power. Um, when influence is used to manipulate people, it can be very really destructive. So if someone is, do not, do question yourself. If someone being very nice to you in terms of gifts and everything, do try to understand their, their, their perspective, um, their reasons. And if you cannot come up with good enough reasons, then maybe you have a reason to further analyze the situation. Uh, I think that's enough for today. Uh, what we'll do next time is I will talk on the next important thing uh, in the book and I'll, uh, I'll share my experiences and I'll talk about uh, that in detail. And um, do subscribe to the page if you have any questions. Uh, do you know write them in the comments below. And um, take care of yourself. We'll see you next time.